Good morning. I'm Kat Kadira, and it is morning time here in Bali. And what I'd love to share with you today is the importance of being grounded when doing energy work. Now, this may seem a little bit obvious, and I know that for those of you who have trained with me for a while, it's almost like that always seems to be my, my solution and, and my passion. And I admit, like I could talk to you for years about grounding, um, but to keep it brief, first of all, you know, I'm curious what your experience of being grounded is. Do you know that there are many layers and levels to ground? And can you sense in yourself when you're more grounded and when you're not? So on a really practical level, and I actually didn't realize this until I started teaching energy work. One of the gifts that you're giving someone when you're grounded is that without saying anything, you know, there's a lot that we transmit through our energetic field, you know, so it's for lack of better words, like more telepathic or, or more of an invisible transmission, you know, it's the embodiment that when you're really grounded and when someone is coming into contact with you and they're less grounded, then suddenly something will tell their nervous system like, oh, right. Like I'm up here spinning and here's a possibility where I can come down a little bit. So even without doing a session, you know, and, and I would extend this to for my friends who are more coaches and therapists and even friends, there's a real power and a real gift that we give someone and ourselves if we're really landed in ourselves. And, you know, in particular, you know, this year, anxiety has just gone off the charts. You know, people who have never really identified themselves as being anxious or like, oh my God, like I feel really anxious. Suicide rates have gone up. The feeling of like, I just don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. You know, that despair, you know, it's not limited to a country, you know, it's happening globally. And we both do our inner work and we also do the work where we can support others. So when we're spinning, when we're scattered, when we've left our bodies, when we're like looking for some sort of addiction to just kind of numb out from our pain, if we come into contact with someone and just spend some time with them, it's like, oh, like our system's like, oh, I can come down now. It's actually safe here. It's actually good here. I actually want to be here. And again, you can do this as a friend. You know, I, I know I was spinning last year and I have this beautiful friend where we always meet for coffee once a week. And just by sitting in his presence, he does not even saying anything in particular, but there's just this love and ground in him that just reminds my system like, oh, right, we can ground too. And then also, if you're a therapist or a ground, it's like, you know, your client is going to be spinning or all over the place and all these things, you know, the, and it's just like, oh, okay, we can come down now. On a healing work level, and I didn't really realize this until I started teaching energy work and I started having my students practice on me um, just to give feedback on var various things. Cause it's a lot easier for me to articulate touch if, if they're touching and I'm like, oh, you know, like, Oh, I can tell you're not really in your body right now when you're doing this or, you know, like, oh, what would happen if you lightened your touch or what if you took your awareness here? So one of my students, um, you know, still learning, like she started coming into my field and she was very ungrounded and really didn't even have an awareness around how ungrounded she was. And for my friends, if you're already familiar with ground, you kind of know, like, until you get it, you don't. And I, I know for myself, even, um, because I would roll my eyes, you know, with, with the various like shamans and therapists and healers I would work with. And they'd be like, and let's ground. And I didn't realize how much I was always out of my body until I finally got in. And I'm like, holy shit. Oh, this. Oh, my God. Here I here I am. Oh, my God. 
So anyway, uh, so the student is approaching my field and, and my system just starts like freaking out, you know, like I start feeling really unsafe. I'm, I'm getting really anxious. You know, my body's like clenching. And luckily, you know, I, I had about 20 years of experience in the work where I could actually say, let's just pause for a second. Do you feel like you're grounded right now? And, you know, she checked in and she's like, oh, no. Right. So we, we work through her way to ground because everyone has their ways that they leave. And I love to work personally with people to be like, OK, that's that's going to get you more in. But it really reminded me you know, that, that for me, I, I could recognize I could articulate it. But imagine if you're brand new to energy work. Right. And it's like. It's, you know, and it's same thing, like if you're brand new to yoga, brand new to meditation, brand new to breath work, brand new to all these worlds, right? And when we're brand new to this stuff, we kind of like try it all out. We eat it all. It's all good, right? Like I want more sound healing. Yeah. And, and we don't necessarily, and it can also be a function of age. We don't necessarily have the awareness and the experience to be able to discern what actually is good for us, what, what is actually healing and what's actually creating more chaos or trauma. And in my experience, especially with the populations I work with, you know, chaos is the more familiar. And so what I do is, is how to spend time with you of like, oh, let's make safety the familiar. Let's make self-care the familiar. Um, let's make healthy relationships the familiar. Let's make ground the familiar, you know, as opposed to the opposites. So a lot of times when we're new to the work, you know, and we're feeling stuff happening and, and energy is like an amorphous word where it's like, it's just this stuff, you know, I'm getting visuals, I'm feeling things, I'm hearing things, but there's no like filter or discernment. Sometimes what we think is healing is actually our system having more chaos or a system being like, holy fuck no, or our system, you know, freaking out or a system having more anxiety. So it's, it's something where this is why I'm so passionate, both in, if you work with me privately, if you work with me in understanding your own energy body, if you're going to do healing work with others, why really knowing your ground is important because you really need to know like, okay, this is me landed and safe. This is me in my wise self versus, oh, here's me spinning. Or this is my body saying, this actually isn't okay for us. Even if the other person thinks it's great, this actually isn't okay for us. So to be able to have a language, because our, our body is exquisite and, and it speaks in in such subtle ways and in different ways. You know, as I, I, I know back in the day, like students would be like, cat. Can you just give me a manual? Like when I feel this, what does it mean? And I realized, like I, I started encouraging students, create your own manual. Like I, let's make a database, you know, like when you're, I, I would give homework assignments, like, okay, how do you feel? What happens when you're in self-trust? You know, what does your body say when there's a no? What does your body say when there's a boundary that's crossed? So you really need to start to respect your own individual wiring and like your own database. So I do have a training that's coming up. Um, it's starting in September, end of September, and it's called Connection, level one training. And of course, you're going to get into the nuances of ground because when you start to do energy work and what's really amazing is just without even like putting either your physical hands or your, I'll call it like psychic or astral hands on someone, just you being landed and grounded will, will create something in someone else's system. Um, and and it, this is part of my work, which is more like the biodynamic craniosacral therapy, um, which also has its, its, uh, its, its connected a little bit more to quantum physics as well. Um, and, and here's the cat. Um, so, you know, there is such a beauty you know, because a lot of times we're still like using our words, using our imagery to communicate, but it's our energy field. It's our embodiment that does the deepest communication. And you, you know this, for those of you who take yoga classes or any kind of class, you know, it may not even be what the person's teaching, but you can feel, you know, especially back in the day when we 
would wait for our teachers to arrive if we're in the room. You could almost feel like when their presence arrive, uh, arrives, something happens. It's like suddenly your system is given certain permission. And also your system might suddenly remember like, oh, I, I forgot what it's like to be in my power. Oh, here we are. We're going to land back into it. I forgot what it's like to be in my ground. Oh, my joy. So the more we embody ourselves, you know, that's how we encourage others to embody themselves as well. So I hope you have a very wonderful day and I will see you soon.